today's video, we're going to be comparing a sleeve hitch to a three-point advantage. Of a, a three-point advantage of a th sleeve hitch, disadvantage, and disadvantage. Um, and it's off the tractor because I was doing stuff and I got another set of rims to put on. Because I'm doing something big. Okay, we can start here on the sleeve hitch. We'll get down here. These are for the closed frame 300 series, such as the closed frame tractors, the 110, 112 round, uh, square fender, 120, 140, 208, no, 200, 208, 210, 12, 14, 16, 300, 312, 14, 16K with the cooler, and 317. That's what they use these for. And on... On the 300 series, you'd be using this slip point. On the 200, 100 series, you'd be using this one. Well, 316, 318, 22, 30, 32, 420, 430. Also, 400. They use the three point. Which, I like the three point setup better. It's built better. Because this, you're only limited to a sleep edge attachment. I don't have none at the point. I'm getting some next week. This week, too. So, so you, this is your lift, and on here, I'm gonna be sit down, get a little better seat. We're on this point. On the three point, you're using your rocker shaft, the rocker shaft up here to lift, and you put your brackets there, and your lift cylinders right there. And also on the 120, 140, and 300s, you could get a three point. It was optional. It ran off the hydraulics. And it's a lot weaker compared to this three point. And this one, get it runs off that cylinder, not a uh, other cylinder. So tired, and I also cleaned up like everything's cleaned up. But yeah, like you use right down there's where you put your arms, and right there's what lifts them. Well, on this, you got a lift rod that goes all the way up front to your rocker. It runs off your rocker, but you know you got that travel advantage, and it has to pick this up and down. You know, the, the van, I'll put uh, put some pictures now, sleep hitch plow, and there's cultivators and stuff. This sleep hitch attachments is kind of cheaper than the three-point attachments, we'll say. Like, I give $250 for a plow. It's getting restored. You can get one for maybe like 100 and some. Sleep hitch. But the vantage is, the, the uh, where was we talking about? Attachment, you know, the attachment difference. But... Let's go on and say the advantages of a three point you're using your rocker right here instead of having the lift rock pretty much come about right there on a closed frame and go off this one. You got this pin, and you put it on there side, but you got your that's a, the advantage of a three point. Here's number one you got your rocker. We're going, I know I'll just repeat myself, but yeah, we're going to go off that. You got your rocker, it runs off of you know, that will lift higher. It would do. It would, you can handle more attachments with the three point than the sleep hitch. The disadvantage sleep hitch attachments. No, and you could get like a thing like that, but with the sleep hitch and run them, they're cheaper. The disadvantage about this, you're paying more money for attachments if you pay the right price. If you pay, but if you find the deal, you know you're getting it cheaper. And also, the difference is 125, 390 dollars. You know, there's a big price difference, but also you're gaining a better advantage. Like I said earlier, attachments, you know, you get better attachments. You can also run not just a tiller or a bagger like on the one, uh, the 140 and the 300 series close frame. But on here, you can run a bush hog. You can run a finish mower, tiller, such more attachments with the PTO because you can have that three point. And also you can run stuff with the ports. 140 had them too, but yeah, like you're like the price difference, four hundred dollars, one hundred twenty five dollars, five hundred dollars, about like two hundred three hundred dollars for the three uh, for the rear PTO on a one forty, but you know attachments you can run more attachments with this one compared to the other one. Also the three point, and you're like your arms and they stick out a little bit more. This one would be sticking about right there, and your arms see. I'm just gonna put this in. They stick out about the same, a little bit more. And you know, you got that, and you got your top link. And this one, people made three points. I'll see if I can find a picture to put in here for it, but eh, I've seen it. I wouldn't like it. But the attachments, like I said, it's cheaper. The 
the three point attachments are more expensive. Brantley stuff. Like I got the Brantley plow. I get ninety nine dollars for that. I'll put a picture now. And it's restored. Ninety nine dollars on eBay for it. And it was an hour away. You can get the sleeve hitch plows from anywhere from like twenty five dollars to one hundred and fifty. And you can get the three point plows from one hundred and fifty to three fifty. For the three points, the advantage is price, like I said earlier. And the disadvantage about having the sleeve hitch is only limited to sleeve hitch attachments. You know, like the advantage of the three point, you can run the three point attachments. You can also buy a sleeve hitch adapter on a three point A frame like that one. And you can run attachments off of this pretty much on the three point. The disadvantage about a three point, the price. That's about it. They got more advantages. They left a lot heavier and do a lot more. Would I get tracked through with the sleeve hitch? Maybe. But this one's already sold to a guy in Toledo that has a two set stain. He wanted it. And I give them the price, and he's like, okay, I'll pay it. So, yeah. Pretty much advantages and disadvantages of it. And there's more, I'm pretty sure. You know, like you do have a couple more things. And this is on the frame more. But also, you got three bolts holding each arm on, and you got the rockers. And, like, I greased this, so these will work a lot better. And you got the rear PTO, 2000 RPM, which people converted to 540, and I want to do that, but it ain't going to happen until soon. I'm going to get up now. And yeah. show. Like, right here, this is a three-point. It's a 48-inch. You would buy a 42-inch blade that runs on the three-point, box blade. So, I'm getting a 42-inch blade made for the bo a box blade. And also... I can use that attachment with weight. You can put weights on that. Like two. I think Michael put two on his. For his 210. I don't remember. It's been a long day. And there's going to be a video. So the 332 coming up. This is this one. Because I just had the opportunity to do. The advantage and disadvantage of a three point. To a sleeve hitch. If you guys are really into this. And you have 200 sets. Go for the you know sleeve hitch. But if you have like a 316 with the Onan. The open frames. Go for the three point. And get your adapter. It would pay off a lot better. And I used to have adapter and a sleeve hitch plow. It wasn't bad. Hence. That was supposed to be sold. I don't know what's going on with the guy. Yeah. But yeah. You know. Like that's the thing. You can run that on three different series tractors. That you can only run on two series tractors. Oh. The, anything up to 82. Up to 92. You know. Like, you can run that on three series of tractors. People converted them for open frame three, like, on 318s. So, on Facebook. But, I don't know. I already have the three point. I'm, I'm able to, you know, do a more capacity. Capacity. Yeah, I can have it, but whatever. With, with them than that. But, that's all I gotta say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, give it a thumbs up. Get the support. Let's get going. Doing pretty good. And I will have more videos. I'm I'm going to spill some beans. I might be getting a 110 round fender now. So, you get some videos of that. But there you go for expansion advantages. I hope you guys enjoy and have a good night.